He's the one that ordered us on this mission. Go into the Shilia Nature Reserve and eliminate the Great Scholar. You must find a spot with no people to switch him with the standing we prepared. Okay. I'm a spy. This is what the enemy is up to. I should be able to just walk through. Stop. Where are you from? What unit do you belong to? Special Intelligence Unit. There's no such an organization. Who are you? I got caught. Oops. Uh, I don't remember the answers to this. The intelligence agency. I see. Fine. What brought you here? Black Cronest News. To deliver a special notice from Sardine. That's not the code. The Black Cronest News. Really? What delightful news. Who do you prefer? Guardian of the Sun, Guardian of Memories. Well, they are elves. Fine. Pass. They have the memory tower, so... That makes sense. Okay. We need to find... The Great Scholar? In a place where there's no people. You the one? Why do you look so stiff? You must be quite nervous at the mere thought of meeting the great guardian of memories. Don't be too nervous. Nervous. I'm a new great scholar myself. I only took this position only recently. <laughs> There's something to report. report. What is your report? I must tell you in private. Now I can attack. I thought it was going to be much tougher, but security is far more lax than I expected. You did a good job. Thank you. According to the report, the giants have made considerable progress on their research into the ancient technologies of Erenid. Those technologies are supposed to be quite powerful. Still, I don't think it is enough to impact the war. Yes, that's a relief for us. However, we don't know how long things will stay this way. If they gather the power of all the technologies, that would be the end of the entire elf race. Everyone, finally, finally. Great scholar? Finally, I succeeded in deciphering the entire ancient document. But what it says... What's the matter, great scholar? Does the ancient document say anything strange? Well, see for yourself. There is no doubt that militants turn into monsters as a result of their unending growth. 
In the end, Erin will become the land of militants. What is the meaning of this? Of course, it can't be true. It must be a, a figure of speech. I mean, militants are famous for protecting us throughout history. How could it be a figure of speech? Not a single ancient document on this planet has ever been this clear or precise. No wonder I've always felt uncomfortable around them. They are neither humans nor gods. Wait, perhaps we're being too hasty with our conclusions. Perhaps we should be more circumspect. Of course, circumspection is a virtue that's always worthy of promotion. However, a quick decision might be more helpful in times like this, especially when we appear on the cusp of war. I believe that we must inform the exp expeditionary force of this information as soon as possible. I agree. Wars are won with intelligence, and this information may be the greatest weapon of all. We must use it. I also agree. We won't lose anything by being cautious. If this is our consensus, then so be it. I don't trust that. At all. Hey Dora. You don't believe in that bullshit, do you? Hmm. I guess they are not as stupid as I thought. I dispatched the elite trackers, but not one of them found anything. Not even a footprint. How about you? Nothing. We'd better climb higher from here. Even if our enemies moved elsewhere, there's only one direction for them to take. Tell me when you're ready. Emilia? I have no idea. You do something about it. Well, we've been working with the giants, but I think the elves have been following us. Actually, I get the sense that they want to join us. I know that one unfortunate looking elf said otherwise, but I just get this feeling about them. Whatever it is they want, we should settle it. Uh, the people seem uneasy. I still don't get it. Get this. What gives these feeble fellows the confidence to mess with us? I don't expect you to understand. I'm sure your simple mind is too busy focusing on breathing and walking. Please do not become too agitated. I would hate for you to burst something. Oh, you're here just in time. You go and talk to him. I tend to like such outings, but this one is rather boring. Well, I'm hardly surprised, considering that killing and stealing is all you can do. I'm glad that there's finally someone intelligent enough to understand us. Militon, tell our idiot friend that they must report anything they find, no matter what. After all, leaving Vales with an armed force is a breach of the agreement. Uh, okay. Agreement? I've never heard of such a thing. Tell her that ignorance is nothing to boast of. Furthermore, they are only permitted to hunt to the south. Aha, I see. You've turned sulky. Don't be angry, child. Besides, we're going to go north. Got that? What? Sulky? Well... It would seem not a single giant is smart enough indeed. I bet that creature didn't understand a word I said, since human language is so clearly beyond its grasp. You're not human either, Mikey. Militon, convey my message to them in very simple words. Ah. Oh, he must be too intimidated to speak to me directly. Isn't that right? Maple? Maid? What was your name? 
Oh, great. How dare you, a lowly filthy giant, insult my name? Calm down. No, it's just, why do you keep following us if you hate us so much? I don't like you either, but your time would be better spent looking after your poor troops. That's none of your business, you gigantic dolt. Besides, do you think I'll let you steal our prey? Yes, I need to stop this. Now. What? What do you want? Shut up. You tell him that it'd be better to investigate the northern area, especially after what you found in the Raspa Volcano region. Do you swear by this, Militon? Is this information accurate? Yeah. I can't help but feel I'm being led around by fools. But I'll take you at your word, Militon. This time. All right. We'll head north. Looks like he was just playing hard to get after all. Ha! Huh. I hear a dog barking somewhere. Oh, just stop it or this trip is gonna be dreadful. Um. Uh. That's not good. I'm actually playing as Lilac. I love Lilac. I've been playing as Shamala before, but... Lilac is funnier. Also, he kicks everything. And Shamala, you're no help whatsoever. Hello. Long time no see. You worthless fools. How could you fail to kill two pathetic humans? I burn with shame. This is on your heads. I command all survivors to answer my call. Go and kill them. Kill them now. That is not good. Not good at all. Emilia? I think we need to get back and help the shamans, actually. How strange. I feel so anxious. Just like when we parted from teacher. How do you feel? I'm not sure. Huh. You're so obtuse. Uh, okay. Dear Militon, Sir Mikey needs to speak with you. It's urgent. I don't know where they came from, but we've been surrounded by the enemy. They're approaching fast. We probably have no more than five minutes. Please, come with me right now. Okay. Sorry, Shimala and Lilac. We have our own problems. Huh. Perhaps there are a bit too many. Well, that doesn't matter. We've never had an easy fight before. Don't worry too much. When this battle ends, I'm going to propose to my fiancé. Okay. Attack. Our foes will be here soon. What? They're here. Who's here? Oh dear. Seeing you here leads me to wonder. Luna. 
If the sacrifice of your life and divine power is the price, the cost to turn Erin into a true paradise, would you sacrifice yourself willingly? Uh uh. <laughs> Besides, militants still have a place to return to even after they die, don't they? Unlike Tuatha de Danan, I mean. If you sacrifice yourself, everyone who lives on in peace will honor your memory. Wouldn't anyone sacrifice themselves in that situation? Ah, Militant! You have the fate of our world in your hands, and what I ask is not even true death for you. And yet you still refuse to do what is right. How can anyone be so selfish? Fine. If you will not answer the call, I will take on that role. For the sake of every soul in Erin, yes, I will do what must be done. I will shed my humanity. Haven't you already done that? half of saga actually we've liberated the mines and the nature reserve and we've fought stuff but it didn't look like I was in such good great shape at the end there so we're gonna have to see what happens next time. So anyway, that's it for today and I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you guys soon. Bye.